Hey guys, welcome back to Art with Imran. I'm Imran and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this site nice in Photoshop. We're going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial and hopefully you guys find it helpful. Run that intro. Okay, so first thing you're going to go to do, you're going to go to Digimaps and you're going to get the kind of area you want. Now this is an area in Port Chester that I've gotten and this is what I've downloaded straight from Digimaps on A2. I've opened it in Photoshop and it has no background so I'm just going to add a white background just to show you guys what it looks like. Now next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Google Earth. But first I want to quickly ask you guys, do you want me to do a tutorial on downloading and um, printing stuff off to scale off Digimaps? If so, just let me know in the card that should pop up now. Okay, so here we are in Google Earth. Um, I found the area. Now first, you're gonna click here and make sure it's magnetic north. This is because our Digimap file will be in north. Um, next, you're gonna hit these three lines, it's called the hamburger, and you're gonna click on map style and change it to clean. Now you should have the area of, that you want. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screenshot it or screen grab it, and we'll put it into Photoshop. So I am gonna use the snipping tool. So I'm gonna go new snipping tool, and I'm just going to select as large an area as I can. And now I'm just going to save this somewhere easy. So here we are back in Photoshop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this map onto it and it should show up. And then what we're going to do is in a minute, we're going to make sure it's the right size. So we're going to tick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my map's opacity down just so we can match it up. And now we're gonna use this and we're gonna do Command T to resize it till it fits. Okay, so now this looks about right to me. Um, what, I, what I'm gonna do is um, now I'm gonna crop down the image, but what I must stress is um, make sure you don't resize anything if you want it to be to scale if this isn't going to be to scale and you just um it's just going to be proportionate then you don't need to worry but what i'm going to do is i'm going to crop it down but i'm not going to resize um the digimaps because we know it's scale one to five thousand so this is the crop tool fourth one down we're just going to click this and just drag these in until we have our canvas size now this will automatically resize the canvas and it will delete anything outside the new canvas border. So here we go. If we turn the opacity up, these should now be lining up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my, my layers are named. And I'm going to duplicate it just so we have a backup. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the copy. And we're going to do exactly what we did in the last site analysis. We're going to do select color range. Now, we're going to do this to get the roads. And we're just going to adjust the fuzziness here. We're just going to adjust the fuzziness until we're happy with it. So I'm happy with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a layer mask. So now we should only have our road showing. I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up just to double check they look all right. And I'm happy with that. So now with the second one, going to do it again but this time we're going to be doing the main roads so we're going to select the yellow and the red so this time I'm gonna go again select color range now again use this first one to select your initial color range um, let me just work out where the so we're gonna select the red area and I'm gonna change it back to grayscale and then we're going to use the add tool to add another color. I'm going to add this yellow. So now if we go back to grayscale, we can see everything that's selected. Now don't worry if areas of the image are selected because we're only on the roads layer. So we're going to change the fuzzy dust until we're happy with what's selected. So I'm happy about here and I'm going to hit OK. And now we're going to do a layer mask on here. Now, as you can see, we only have our roads showing. So if you hide this map and say we just do a quick fill, you can see exactly where the roads are. There you go. Easy. 
Now, I'm gonna put the map back on and with what we're gonna do is I always encourage people to do, have a non-destructive workflow. Now, what's a non-destructive workflow? A non-destructive workflow is where any of the edits you make can be reversible. So, although you can do image adjustments black and white, we are gonna do an adjustment layer instead. This is because we can reduce it, we can change it and we can undo it. By doing um, image edit, it will permanently apply it. So we're gonna hit this black and white and you're gonna play with the settings until you're happy. So I want my greens to be a bit darker and I want my houses to be a bit brighter and they tend to be yellow color. So you're gonna play about with this until you're happy. I like this. Again, you can spend more time working on this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the roads layer and I want the roads to be yellow. So we're just gonna do color overlay and we're gonna select this yellow color. Now it's really looking pretty good. Um, you can continue to do edits. So we're gonna do a brightness and contrast and we're gonna just change the brightness of the background and turn the contrast up a little bit as well. Okay, now one more thing. If you have layers below your map, they will also be affected by these layers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the Alt key and we're gonna click this, which will make sure that it only applies to this layer, hence the arrow. Now we're also gonna go on main roads and we're gonna give them a different color. Now I'm thinking white, just so we can distinguish. And I'm happy with that. Now finally, we're gonna make a new layer on top and this is gonna where we're gonna do our yellow areas. Now I was thinking, I think this would be great for some kind of understanding the local area or if you're highlighting multiple different sites that you've chosen from. We're going to use click M and choose the marquee tool or hold down and pick rectangular marquee. And for example, say you have a site here, we're going to draw a box and we're going to make sure we have a yellow color selected and we're going to do alt delete to fill it with our foreground color. Now we're also going to pick some other areas to so say you like this banner. We're going to do one here, alt delete. And finally, we're going to pick one more site, for example, just here. Now, although these don't look great, we're going to go on to here and we're going to go overlay. And then we're going to turn the opacity down. So I'm going to choose 34. And now what we're also going to do is we're going to double click it and we're going to add a stroke. I'm going to turn the size of the stroke up and I'm going to make it a more orangey yellow. Okay, so as you guys know, you can you can continue playing with this. You can add text, whatever you want. But these are the key techniques I was trying to show you. And if you guys change these techniques and apply it in your own way, please feel free to show me. I would love to see them. Um, we're going to be starting an Instagram soon, so feel free to tag me on there. You guys will know about that as soon as it's up. Okay, so there you go, guys. Hopefully you found that helpful. Again, I just want to say thanks for all the support. I've been getting some really nice messages. And that if there is anything else you guys want me to cover, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to cover it. Again, like and subscribe. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching, guys.